Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Thursday, October the 10th of 2024. Many blessings to you all as we move forward in this energy. Remember, this is a collective reading for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have your own reading, please visit royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Let's see what the cards have to say as we move forward in this energy, cranking up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness. You, as I ran out of air, our positively positiveness using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus with intention to create our best possible lives now. So let's keep it, keep it going. And we have... A blessing in disguise. This is an offer coming in looking like something else. And it may even be something that's misdescribed to you. So it's up to you to do your due diligence and find the, the nugget of this. That means don't kick something away immediately just because it looks a certain way. It doesn't mean accept it and settle if it's not something for you. But it does mean check into it. Have an educated understanding of what, this is where logic is important. Let yourself drill down a little bit and see what's underneath the wrapper. Then we have the Emperor, which is the energy of the Aries Major Arcana. It is a beautiful energy of all things aligning in your highest good and for an energy of completion and the ability to take action. This is the masculine of the universe itself, and it's very established and secure. So, like that energy. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. The runway is clear, and this is a big, fat yes. You may now proceed. So you've done everything that you need to do to get all your ducks in a row, and this is the green light. Let's do it. Yes, you may now move on to the next wonderful level. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. There we go. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we've got our three cards that came out in the flip. They came exactly three. We know, I believe this one is going to be the five of cups, but somewhere in there is five of cups. Oh, hello. And the high priestess. So this is the energy of literally materializing what you're sending out into the universe. You So remember, we are the physical connection between the spirit energy, the, the beautiful divine energy of creation, and the physical realm in this 3D process. This is, we are the link. So... When we put out thoughts and we want to put out the energy of receiving something, creating something new, we use our psychic intention. You see how that kind of changes the color of it? Because there is a, an actual quantum field out there that's got all the energy, both in wave and particle. It like pops back and forth until we center it and focus our energy on it and turn it into the physical form. That's what manifestation is, my darlings. And being sitting literally in the quantum field in that wave is absolutely spectacular energy. And that's what the high priestess is doing. Being the link between what is in the unseen and making it into the solid mass that turns into the scene. So absolutely. Thank you, universe. We will take that. Yay, team. That's what we're doing. And we have courage. It takes courage to step into the unknown and to be able to be okay with whatever com comes of it, right? And to learn how to, to, to step out there and maybe we don't get exactly what we're thinking we're getting, but it's something different. Being open to that and allowing yourself the, the grace to do it. 
universe has the grace to let you try. My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward because I have a courageous heart. I put that in for my own little thing. That's my little statement because I have a courageous heart. I always step into things that are uncertain. Remember, even the things we think are certain are uncertain. They, you know, things can turn on a dime and we have to be ready to move bravely into the new as things change. So courage is, is a must in this life. And especially if you're manifesting, you got to have a courageous heart in order to do that. And communication. How are you thinking and speaking? What are you allowing the vibration of your energy to send out for you? You're communicating without words all the time. So make sure that you understand the, the universe is listening to the unspoken as well as the spoken and the thought. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. That means you state what your outcome is, what you want to be in the, in the full extension of what you're creating. What is the outcome? And then let the universe weave that wonderful energy into being. Your communication matters because if you don't believe what you're saying, the universe goes, oh, okay, well, we'll, we'll get back to you when you're ready to actually commit to that energy. That's why you say it as though it's already happened. And we have abundance. So let's commit to that. That's all you got to say. Thank you, universe, for all the abundance I have in my life today. Remember, to those who have, more is given. That means you're able to see that as your possibility, right? Allow that abundance to rain down. Open your arms in, a, in the shape of a funnel up to the heavens and let that funnel into you, right? In the, in the victory, arms over the head, pulls that energy in. And literally the goal, <laughs> figuratively and literally, soul time, hello universe. I think this is the most amazing uh, one of the most amazing cards in here, but really speaks to, to the real concept. You ready? The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal, the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. That's why we're in the high priestess energy, because we're connecting to source, which allows all possibilities, unlimited possibilities, absolutely abundant opportunities. It's all there. We just have to identify the frequency of it already being in our lives. That means resonating with it. We have balance. Difference is necessary and part of human evolution. Everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle will be indistinguishable from the light that already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive light, and both are necessary. And so it is. That is a very Libra-aligned energy. We are all about that balance. And manifestation. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. And so it is. Well, there it is. That's the manifestation. This is the concept of that. You've got the abundance here. All you have to do is communicate it and be in the place of resonating that it's already happening or flowing in. And we have the five of pentacles. This is the big deal here. In the wave, it means it's in particle form and we can't really see it until it comes into full form, which is what she's got in this hand. So wave and particle. This is all quantum physics. So in the wave, it's all scattered. It's not solid. Right. And it's trying to come into form, which you can see it barely starting to. She's looking away because she can't really detect it. 
But remember, long before we see it, energetically it's there. That's why we start having the ideas for it. So be patient and let the universe work it out because it's happening even though you can't see it. Just know that it is there in the unseen and is about to manifest. Then we have the Pisces moon focusing your manifestation. This, if you see it as an embryo, uh, that's the way it's been described to me by my guides. And we have the as above, so below energy of that line of the quantum and the 3D realm. The 3D realm is a realm of form. Quantum is a realm of what? Particle, right? Or wave, bringing in, bringing in the possibilities. So it's scattered. Remember I said before it comes into form, it's, it's like a light bulb, how it's going everywhere. Laser beam brings it into that single focus, which is what your manifestation does. When you focus on it, you pull all your energy in and make it so. Bring it into form and then it comes into this realm. So we're really about manifestation in this reading. <laughs> and there's that five of cups, as I saw when we had the jumper come out with all the three cards in it. Now, these three are the past. And they're, the sun is setting on them. And that's why they're kind of turning orange. But they're lighted flames. When See, this one's just sparking. Like there's the past and you got new things coming in. Well, there's the new things. Now, looking out at that same infinite opening. As the sun sets, and now we're in the energy of leaving the past behind, but letting it illuminate our way as we go forward. So the experience you got from this past is now illuminating your way as you step into with fresh new energy into the new. Right? So it's all relevant and necessary as we go forward. So Manifest your little hearts out. This is a really strong <laughs> reading for that. It looks like our energy is really high on. I like to peak sometimes. So, oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> now, look, if you notice, she's sitting, but it's the same position, right? Hands out. She's got her fingers together in a mudra, but she's absolutely in the center of receiving this opportunity that she's manifested for herself. The sun card is the happiest card in tarot, by the by. So, Allow yourself to bask in that and bring it in. Keep your focus. Bring it in. You can all do it. Nobody's more powerful than anyone else. It's what you believe. And so believe. It's true. It's real. And you can do it. Go get it. Pull it in through the vibrational frequency. And so shall it be. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.